Hello and welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, we're gonna go over a set of brand new Nietzsche Misano wheels. They just been delivered to us and we're gonna put the Booster 2.0 and we're gonna take you to the entire journey again and we're gonna weigh them. Customer wants to know what, what is the weight on them. So we're gonna unpack them, um, inspect them, and prepare them and spray them. So we're gonna take you along the whole journey with another set of mad wheels. So I can never say this enough that the Turbo Wax Booster 2.0 is safe for matte surfaces and it will not bring the shine out, contrary, will stay the same finish and one thing that we have noticed with all the ones that we have done is that most of the customers are reporting that they don't even need to use a wheel cleaner they are cleaning them with a shampoo and a sponge or, or a microfiber and they're done so a lot of benefits to this so we're going to turn this thing around and we're going to prepare everything and unbox these babies and here we go Okay, and that's the specs right here, Nietzsche Misano, finish matte black, they're 20s, alright so we have the wheel out of the box and we're gonna go with the prep oil. As always, we recommend it to spray into the microfiber, then we're gonna wipe all the surfaces, and then we're gonna go behind with a dry new microfiber to remove any excess from the prep oil. Um, the one thing about this product is it works phenomenal, but remember you need to uh, wait about 30 to 60 seconds to allow the product to completely evaporate. Usually I weigh longer than that. So um, I have placed the wheel in a four by four in an angle. I'm gonna be spraying the face first. I left behind the uh, foam cushion because that area I'm not gonna be um, spraying and it will protect it. So we got the compressor ready. Uh, I'm gonna put the mask, the gloves, and then we are ready to spray it away. So with this one, just a quick splash, and then you glide to the surface, all the area that you're gonna be coating. And that's all is to it. Then make sure you go behind it with one of these. Wipe everything out. If you, if you have a light like this, you can take a real good look to make sure you don't have any high spots uh, from the product. Make sure you don't have any anything left from the microfiber, any microfiber hairs or anything, and then you're good to go. So we're gonna put the mask on and spray away. Okay, so that's after spraying the face. The outside temperature today is about 62 degrees. Usually we want to wait between three to five minutes. Uh, uh, today it might require a little longer. So we're gonna monitor that. We're gonna remove the excess, flip it around and apply by hand the backside. And we will show you that soon. Okay, so we're back and here you can see at the moment the wheel is getting cured. Uh, we're gonna monitor the clock to see the time. And then uh, we're gonna um, remove all the excess, level it up, and then flip it and do the backside. But it's looking real nice. 
All right, so I have installed install it back the foam protector since I'm gonna flip the wheel. You know, when you receive wheels from a customer and they have worked hard to buy those wheels, they, it's special to them. So we want to make sure that we handle them with as much care as, as we can. We don't wanna make any mistakes. We wanna return the wheels looking like brand new that they came with the coating. Um, a while back, I had one on the side here and she almost rolled out of the table on me. So you have to pay good attention what is it that you're doing um, to avoid any mistakes. So now we got the protector on the back also and uh, this is all ready. We're gonna flip it, do the back side. All right, we're ready for the back side. And as I was saying, I pinched them with the towel right there and we're gonna go with the applicator and simply we're gonna glide back and forth. You can see it there coming alive. Then at the end, I will take the, the uh, foam rim, ring and apply the coating there. As you can see, you just do it like this. I will put this down so I can put my mask and continue. Okay, so we are waiting the wheels and this is the weight for them 28 pounds i think that's a little bit on the heavy side um but we always weigh the wheels for the customer so the scale don't lie 28 it is okay so i put them on top of their respective box i inspected and it looks beautiful so now i'm gonna let them sit here the rest of the day and um, continue on with three more to go but it looks beautiful right there okay and the final product is here and the niche wheels they look just beautiful beautiful brand new out of the box with the boosted 2.0 they're done um, now the next step is we're gonna call the customer, have him come and look at them outside the box, show him a few imperfections that we found, and then box them up and send it his way. There you have it. It's beautiful. Beautiful finish, no high spots. They're matte wheels. Now they have the good protection. All right, and all done. Look at that finish. Don't forget that it's always a good idea to put something so they don't roll. But they are all done. All right, so there you have the niche wheel solder done. Um, don't forget to always have a spare um, airbrush. For the for the application with the little air compressor so anyways uh, you can see again the boosted 2.0 ceramic coating that you can apply to matte wheels and it will not bring the shine back uh, it will have the protection we have done many wheels like this so just showing you again so anyways this will complete this video and uh, we want to thank you for your support check us on Instagram and you can subscribe to our channel and we'll see you on the next time later